welcome to the Hopkins Police Department's Celebration of Community in partnership with the Hopkins Raspberry Festival. I'm Julia Ross, JCPP Community Liaison with the Hopkins Police Department. We'd like to thank you for your support of our department and for tuning in to this year's virtual celebration. While we would much prefer to meet you in person, we did not want to miss this opportunity to bring you a sample of the cultural experiences that we value and love in our community partners. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, and we'll see you all again next year. for Don's Ashkena Turkish Dance Ensemble right here in Minneapolis area. And this year for the Hopkins Celebration of Community in 2020, we are doing everything virtually. And so now we are going to go into a very, very short mini dance lesson. I'm going to show you some moves and we're going to put them together. So, get some comfortable clothing on, get a scarf, tie it around your hips, and let's get started. First part of our virtual lesson today, we are going to learn how to do head slides, which are these, and snake arms with a shoulder roll. which are these, and hand ripples. All right, we'll start with the hand ripple. What you're doing is you're pushing the palm of your hand out and pulling it back and just letting the fingers follow. Push, pull, push, pull. Your thumb stays out of it. It's just the four fingers. Same thing with the left hand. Push, pull, push, bend the knuckles, pull, push, bend the knuckles, pull. Now you can do the move this way in the vertical position. We're going to do it horizontally here. So it's framing your face, right? You want it just below your chin. Let me see that. Ripple, ripple, rip. Those look really good. Yes, those look really good. And good work with the elbows because you don't want chicken wings. You want to make sure those elbows are up. And the next move is called a head slide. So your arms are still in this upright position. And you slide your head to the right, left, right, left, right, left, right and you're always sliding in time with the music. And it doesn't have to be really super big like this, right? Everybody has a different amount of flexibility in their neck. And you know what? And if yours is tiny, yours is tiny. Now the move we're going to add on to this, it starts with a shoulder roll and then we add the rest of the arms to it. So if you take your right shoulder right shoulder, correct, and you lift it up and roll it towards the back. Lift, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll. And we'll try it on the left. Start on the left shoulder, lift, roll back, lift, roll back, lift, roll back, lift, roll back. Lift, roll back right, roll back left. Let me see. Yes, there you go, roll back left. Now when we add the entire arm, as we lift the shoulder, the elbow comes up. As we roll the shoulder back, the elbow comes down. Up, down. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Go on the left, Shoulder, let the left elbow drift up, drift up, 
drop the shoulder, drop the elbow, up and down, up and, oh, those look really nice. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And it, see, it's nice and relaxed. Up, down, up, down. Very good. So now if we take this shoulder roll, snake arm move, and we put the feet to it. It is going to feel awkward at first, and one side is going to work better than the other side at first. That's perfectly normal. Side together, side together, side together, side together. Side, it comes up, together, the shoulder comes down. Side, comes up, together, the shoulder comes down. Side, together, side, together. Arms up, roll down, roll up, roll down, roll up, roll down, roll up, roll down. The second set of basic moves we're going to go into, we're going to start with a hip circle. And this is what it looks like going clockwise. This is what it looks like going counterclockwise. Now if any of you have ever played with a hula hoop, the move is very, very similar. If we go clockwise, you make half the front circle going from the left to the right, and then you make the second half of the circle across the back going right to left. This is the clockwise version. Left to right, and you see my weight transfers from left to right. Right to left, and you see my weight transfers across the back from right to left. Clockwise, left to right, right to left. Left to right, right to left. Left to right, right to left. If we go counterclockwise, you start on the right, the front half of the circle goes right to left, weight transfers from the right to the left in the same movement, and then across the back, left to right is the bottom half of the circle. Right to left, left to right, right to left across the front, left to right across the back. Right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right. And that is the basics of a hip circle. Our next move is a hip slide. And it's exactly what it sounds like. Put your arms out to the side, take your hips and slide them over to the right. And your weight transfers over to your right foot. Slide to the left, weight transfers to the left. Slide, slide. Slide, slide. Doesn't have to be real big. Slide, 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 slide. Let me see. There you go. Yes, that looks really good. That looks really good. Now we are going to take the hip circle that we did and the slide and more or less put them together into a move that is called a horizontal figure eight. So in order to do this, if you envision a clock in front of you and you're looking at 12, you slide to two, twist back to five, slide to 11, twist back to seven and keep it moving. Slide right, twist it back. Slide left, twist it back. As you're sliding to the right and twisting right, your weight shifts to the right. As you slide left and twist to the left, your weight shifts to the left. Slide right, twist right. Slide left, twist left. Slide right, twist right. Slide left, twist left. Slide and twist. Slide and twist. Very good. Slide and twist. Slide and twist. And this is a horizontal figure eight. So here's the step part, here's the twist. Step left, twist right. Step right, twist left. Step left, twist right.
step right, twist left, and you're stepping in place. Step and twist. Step left, twist right, step right, twist left, step left, twist right, step right, twist left. Our final move in part two here is called a shoulder shimmy. So your arms come up, keep them nice and relaxed, right at shoulder height, elbows are pointing to the back and your palms are down. Push your right shoulder forward and then bring it back to the neutral position. Push left forward, bring it back. Right, bring it sent neutral, left back to neutral. Forward, neutral, forward, neutral. So now what you do to get the shoulder shimmy is you increase the speed. Right, left, 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 right, left. And there's your shoulder shimmy. All right, we're ready for the final two moves, and we're going to focus on the hips. The first move is called a hip up or a hip lift. Slight bend in the knees, slightly straighten the right knee, your right hip goes up. S slightly straighten the left knee while you bend the right. The left hip goes up, the right hip drops down. It's almost like you're riding a bike. You know how when you ride a bike, your knees go in opposition to each other? This is very similar. Right up, left bend, left up, right bend. Right up, left bend, left up, right bend. Right left, right left, right, left right, left right, left. Right left, right left, right, left right, left right, left. And now to get the hip shimmy, you take our hip up move, make sure your heels stay firm on the ground. You're not up on your toes yet. Heels and your flat foot, weight on the ground. You take that hip up movement we just learned with the alternating hips and you just alternate the knees faster and faster. And here is our hip shimmy. Let me see it. There you go. And now we're gonna put them all together.
two and three of basic Middle Eastern dance moves and a short little mini choreography. Make sure you check out the other videos that are posted. There are drum lessons with Carmen Himes Drum Circle and there are also guest dance performances by Dons Ashkenaz Turkish Dance Ensemble and some of the other favorites that you are used to seeing at the Hopkins Celebration of Community. Thank you very much and enjoy the festival.
Sharma. I'm going to give you a brief description about this video. This video depicts about Lord Jagannath and his seven body parts. We have seven participants, myself, Neeli Verma, Sonali Patnaik, Lili Sahu, Gopa Guru, Priyambada Tripathi, Pragya Sahu, and Kasturi Patnaik. India is a land of cultural heritage. It is different religion, food, languages, and civilization. Depicting that we value unity in diversity. The diversified culture of India makes us stand out with a mindset of acceptance of all cultures. The Vedas, Puranas, and Upanishads are the storage of all the scripts with immense information on spirituality with scientific facts. The video today is a tradition which has been followed for 800 years. It's called the Ratyatra or the Chariot Parade. We worship Lord Jagannath. Lord Jagannath is the avatar of Vishnu. He is called the Lord of Cosmos or Universe. He is the most mysterious God in the world. His idol is made up of sandalwood and his sculpture is incomplete. Every year in the month of June, we do celebrate this chariot festival. This chariot every year is made with the new sandalwood and it is 14 feet tall. Jagannath with his brother Balabhadra and his sister Subhadra sit in their chariots each 14 feet tall and idol weighing one ton each are decorated with flowers, jewels and silk clothes. Devotees from far and wide come in to visit Puri the, uh, to get a glimpse of Lord Jagannath and pull the chariot and get connected with the one and only one Lord of Universe and attain Nirvana. Thank you.
everybody, let's have some fun. We're here for the Raspberry Festival. We want to bring you along and drum with us. I'm Carmen Doherty Heim, and I am pleased and blessed to teach the Hopkins hand drumming class at Hopkins Community or at Hopkins Community Ed. It starts in October. And then I have a Good Vibes Drum Circle. And we have a few of us here. Today is Brenda and Mark and Pam. And we're going to bring in some of the Dance Austin dancers. And Holly's also helping us out with some percussion today. So um, I want to do a, an instruction too so you can uh, come play with us. So we're going to start out with two African traditional rhythms called Cuckoo One and Cuckoo Two. So we're going to start slow on the first rhythm and that's the one that you get to play with us. So that is, uh, has a word for each beat is called mnemonic phrases. So that will be slowly, get down tonight, get down, get down tonight, get down, third time, get down tonight, get down tonight, get down tonight, get down, tonight, get down. all right. And so then, these lovely drummers are going to play that, and we're going to add another beat to that. So just play along, and Holly, I'll give you, I'll bring you in. Okay, so let's two, three, four. Get down. to add to it one that is rolling down the hill. So what we're going to teach you is the thonga. So let's give it to them slow. So you've got all bases, thonga, thonga. Alright, 
we're going to pick it up tempo, and you two are going to hang on to that one, and we're going to uh, play the other one. So let's do. Bong, bong.
out and play and dance with you. So always when we end our drum circle, good vibes, we do a heartbeat because we know we all need to bring ourselves to the peace and the harmony and the balance today more than ever. And it's happening right here and I'm sure that you can feel it. So I hope to see you at the beginning hand drumming in October at Eisenhower Center. So play along with us. Unity to the community. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Hey, everybody. My name is Jake Riley, studio owner and breaking instructor at House of Dance Twin Cities, located right off of 7th Avenue and Main Street in downtown Hopkins. Today, I'm going to show you at home a breakdancing routine that you can learn and share with your friends and family. All right, let's get started. So before we get into any movement, we want to do a quick warm up. All right, get our bodies warmed up. It's also for safety reasons. All right, so we don't want to be pulling any muscles or anything like that. We want to be really warm and ready to dance. Okay, you ready to go? All right, let's get it. So we're going to start with 15 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? Now, if you want to run in place, anything you we usually do to get warmed up for any physical activities, totally fine by me as well. All right? We're going to do a quick stretch. Take a seat on the floor. You can also do this standing. Feet out in front of you. Back is straight, take a deep breath in, through the nose and stretch down towards your toes, breathe out. We'll hold this for about 10 seconds, focus on your breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Let's go to our left leg. Right leg in. Stretch down towards your left toe. For breaking, or more widely known as break dancing, it's really important that you have flexibility and that you're able to move your body freely through the movements. So like any dance or physical activity, stretching is so, so important. For my practices, I usually take between 20 to 25 minutes warming up, doing different exercises and stretch routines. Last one, straddle stretch. All right, this one's gonna work on your ability to do the splits. All right, so open up, have your toes facing the ceiling, stretch down in front of you. You can crawl your hands or even your forearms and your elbows. Try to keep your back straight and hold 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now, there's many more warm-up exercises that we do and things like that, but for now, we're just gonna keep it there for the warm-up and get right into the breaking class. So what you need to know before we learn this routine today is that there's five elements of breaking, or also known as break dancing. We have top rock, go downs, footwork, power moves, and freezes. All right, one more time. Top rock, go downs, footwork, power moves, and freezes. And if at any time during this tutorial, you feel like you need to go back, review any of the movements that we learn or the routine itself, please feel free to do so. Lastly, the name of the song that you're hearing in the background here is called Apache. 
by the incredible Bongo Band. It's one of the classic breaking tracks um, from the 80s and the 70s. And we still use it and cherish this song today. All right, so let's get started with Top Rock. Top Rock's done standing up, and it comes from the rock motion. Think of yourself like you're sitting in a rocking chair. All right, so from the side view, you're rocking your body back and forth. Okay? Rock. 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 Okay? So if I was in a chair, my knees are slightly bent, right? Rock back, forward. Back, forwards. Rock. 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 Okay? This is the kind of movement we're going to want as we're doing our top rock steps. All right? And the first step is called front step. All right? Very simple. You start with your feet together. You're going to step out in front of one foot. My right here is my right foot in front of my left. Step out in front. And your back foot, my left foot, from the side view, my left heel is up. Okay? So we step forward and back. Other side. Forward with our left foot and back. Again, forward, back, forward, back. All right? Let me play that track again. We will run these steps to the music. All right, so let's go again. This time we're gonna use and utilize our arms. One hand in front of the other, okay? Cross your arms in front of you. And as we step forward, you're gonna bring your hands out. And together. Out and together. Out and together. Out and together. Now to switch it up, rather than stepping straight out, let's cross our feet in front of one another. All right, so we're gonna take our right foot and step out in front of our left. So I'm here, step out. Notice my back foot, my heel's still up and I'm leaning slightly. Together, out, together. All right, we're gonna do an eight count of that to begin our routine. Are we ready? Let's get this music up. You ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and close. All right, let's try it again. Five, six, five, six, seven, here we go. One, step up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and boom. All right, now remember that rock. That rock feel. You can go half speed, which is one, two, three, or you can go and get a quicker rock motion, okay? I'll show you what the front step looks like full speed. This is the point where you can challenge yourself, see if you can keep up with the rhythm. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and that is Top Rock. Moving right along, we're gonna go into go downs. Go downs are just like they sound. We're gonna go from standing up to dropping down to the floor. All right, and the move, the move I just did is called a straight drop. So we're gonna do that right now. So I start standing up from a side view. All right, it's like going down into a crouch. So I'm gonna bend my knees and drop down. This position is called base, and base is the position that we do almost all of our footwork moves, which is the third element of breaking that we'll get to in a moment. Now notice I'm sitting on my heels, all right? I'm not on my tippy toes. That would be uncomfortable, right? But I'm also not flat-footed. If I go flat-footed, my hips dip, and it's really hard to hold myself up with no hands, okay? So once again, I'm here. You have a slight arch in your back and sit. This is from the side view. All right, let's get adjusted here and sit. Cool? So let's try it. Two sets. Simply stand up, one, drop two. If you want to use your hands to support you, you can bring them out in front of you. All right? Cool. Next go down, we're gonna build on this. We're gonna add a spin before we do the straight drop, and then that turns the move into what? A spin drop, all right? Pretty self-explanatory. So we're gonna spin all the way around, 
pause, and drop. Okay, I call it spin, stop, drop. Let's try it. We're gonna do it both ways, ready? We're gonna go spin, clockwise, pose, down. Other side on my left foot, counterclockwise. Spin, stop, drop. Now notice I'm doing different things with my hands, touching my chin, my hat, have your hands out, that's for style, all right? Adding some style that you know, it looks like you know what you're doing, okay? As you're doing these basic movements, all right? So that's the go down today, okay? Once again, I'm gonna go clockwise for the routine. We're gonna do eight count of front step, come back to the middle, spin, stop, drop, all right? Now, moving right along, we're gonna go into footwork. Footwork, now remember I said, we're gonna be working from base. So let's get into base now, and let's begin. Our footwork step, we're gonna do kickouts today. Kickouts, all right? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my right hand down behind my heel, okay? So from the side view, I set my right hand down. Now when I do that, I wanna push my knees forward a little bit to level my balance point out, okay? So now I'm fully sitting on my heel. My knees aren't completely together, but they're not too spread out. And I'm relaxing, resting. Now, the kick out part, it's very simple. You take your right leg, bring it out, rest your heel on the floor, and bring it back to base. So, this is how we're going to do kick outs. Let's take our right hand down, right leg out, bring your right leg back in. Here's the trick, this is a tricky part. Switch your left leg while staying on your right hand. Now I'm opposite, this does take some balance and switch sides, okay? In footwork, the feet lead and the leg or in the hands follow, okay? So the legs are gonna go first, left leg in now, right leg out, then the hands follow, okay? So let's do this two times, okay? In with the right, out with the left, switch to your left hand, left leg in, right leg out, switch to your right hand, okay? Nice. So that is going to be the next move for footwork. If you like to be challenged and you feel like, I wanna take it to the next level at this point of the video, try kicking both legs out, all right? So it'd be a simple one, two, same thing. Right hand goes behind, all right? We kick both legs out now and come right back in to base. Now the trick is when you bring your legs back in, try to bring them to base. Don't let them drop down here, otherwise you're gonna lose momentum. All right, and then all you do is switch sides to your left arm, kick out, and back in. Nice, all right, let's do that two times again. So step one, two, switch, kick out. One, two, and down, all right. So let's quick recap. Top rock, we have an eight count of the front step, pose, spin, stop, drop, we're gonna either do the single leg kick out, it's up to you. We'll do two on each side, starting with the right, going to the left. Now after we're done with the left here, we're gonna drop down into our power moves. Now power moves, those are the moves that you probably have seen in a commercial or in a performance somewhere, um, in a movie perhaps, okay? These are the dynamic movements, the head spins, back spins, flare, and a lot of other moves, okay? Power moves require a lot of practice, all right? And a lot of focus while doing them, all right? So today I'm going to show you how to develop momentum and spin, all right? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna bring our legs out in front of us, open our legs up here, okay? We did the straddle stretch earlier, right? We're gonna take our right hand down, and we're gonna swing our left foot towards our right foot, okay, so that they come together. As we're doing this, my right hand here is gripped against the floor, and I'm pushing, pushing as I'm swinging, okay? So kind of three things are going to happen here. You push with your hand, swing your legs together, and as soon as your feet come together, you're going to go into what I call is cannonball position, right? So it's the middle of summertime here in July. 
And what I want you to think about is jumping cannonball right into a pool as you swing those feet together. All right, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna quick demonstrate. Ready? And down, okay? So that's how you develop the momentum, by pushing, swinging, and bringing your body together. Try to hug your knees to your chest as tightly as possible. Use your hands and hang on, okay? Now, if you want to stop, use your heels as the brake. Just set your heels on the ground, you'll stop right away. Whether you're on a wood floor, laminate, or carpet like I am here at home, okay? So, let's try it again. Last time. Ready? Three, two, one, swing, push, and down. Now, as a challenge, if you spun once, great. Try to spin twice. If you spun twice, spin three times. You always want to try to add those numbers up, see how long you can go, okay? Last move. We are now to the fifth element, which is called freezes. As soon as we're done spinning, you set your feet down wherever you end up. I want you to take both hands, set them behind you. Set them behind your waist. Lift your waist straight up as high as you can. All right, this move is called a table. So think about how flat a table is. Now, for style, we're gonna bring our left leg over our right leg. Okay, just set it up top, just like that. And then set your right hand, your opposite hand, on your waist or on your head or on your chin, or you can point. Boom. This freeze is called a table freeze. Now, we don't want to have a lazy, we don't want to have lazy form. So I don't want to see, we don't want to, want to see this. Our hips are too dipped. We want to be nice and up, okay? That makes the movement look a lot stronger. All right, we have all the moves of the routine. Now let's put it all together to the song. Once again, it's called Apache by the Incredible Bongo Band. My name is Jake Riley once again. My b-boy name is Boogie B. And I have been breaking for going on 16 years actually this month. So it's been a fun ride. Here at House of Dance Twin Cities, we specialize in hip hop dance styles, such as breaking, which you're learning now, funk styles dances, which include popping and locking, and lastly, hip hop, our hip hop dance courses. We offer classes to people of all ages and experience levels, and we hope you'll check us out one day at www.houseofdancetwincities.com. All right, are we ready to do this routine? Let's go. Everybody stand up. I will count the routine with you. So no worries there. The first time we'll go half speed. Second time we'll go full speed. Once again, if you miss a step, keep going and feel free to rewind this video and go back to any portion that you want to review. Thank you for joining me today and let's get this thing started. Here we go. Turn this music up. Can you hear it? All right. Start with our feet together. We go five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and one, two, three, down, four, and five, six, switch legs, seven, eight, switch hands, one, two, three, four, take a seat, five, six, seven, and spin, go, one, two, three, four, up, five, six, seven, and freeze, eight. Nice, how did you do? Did you get all the steps? Were you with the rhythm? I hope so, once again, you can review if needed. Now, we are gonna go to the actual full speed rhythm of the song. Notice the drum. The drum is the primary sound. The break of the song is what breakers dance to. All right, be sure you're always in tune with the music. Here we go, five, six, Five, six, full speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Yeah! How did that, how did that feel? How did that go for you? 
I hope it went well. Once again, this will probably take some time if you're new to breaking. Take your time, be sure to enjoy it, be sure to have fun. Let's quick lastly review the five elements. Top rock, go down, footwork, power moves and freezes. My name once again is Jake Riley here with House of Dance Twin Cities. Thank you for tuning in with me today and I hope to meet you soon. Peace. Thank you.